finally today, the story of a teenager with courage, grit, and determination. And once again, the question is, do you want the closest hospital or the best? Two years ago, just before starting his senior year of high school, 16-year-old Jared Towers was working at a pizza shop when he began feeling ill. He called his mom at her sweets shop at Canterbury Village in Lake Orion. The first thing that he said was, Mom, something's wrong with me. And then a bunch of undistinguishable words came out of his mouth, like, like, like he couldn't form a word. Jared had suffered a massive stroke losing control of his whole right side. His brain contained a congenital mass of malformed arteries, and it had burst, with the blood flow destroying brain cells. At the hospital, his parents were told that Jarrett might not make it. It was just really shocking to have something like that happen to Jarrett out of, uh, uh, you know, out of a per perfectly healthy kid. Emergency surgery opened Jarrett's skull, repaired the arteries, and drained the blood. But Jarrett was faced with a long, difficult, and uncertain recovery. He could not walk or move his right arm. He could not speak or even utter a sound. After healing at home, it was time for therapy, and Jarrett's surgeon suggested Children's Hospital because, he said, they're really good there. And we said, well, that's where we're going. At Children's, Jared's mom lived with him to help with the challenges of everyday living. And Jared's dad often helped out on the weekends. I found um, the, the therapist to be really excellent working with Jared. Uh, they are just awesome, more than awesome. Two who were instrumental for Jared were music therapist Laura Duda on the left and speech therapist Laura Smith. Jared could not talk at all and he really didn't have any kind of a communication system and he was very, very frustrated. A lot of tearful moments in the beginning. To help Jared get started, Laura Smith created a communication board with pictures he could point to. Picture of a guy eating or going to the bathroom or something like that. In terms of speech itself, the process was very basic getting him to, to be able to relearn the movements of you know, his lips and his tongue and the breast support and to be able to put all that together to coordinate it, to actually formulate a sound and then a word and then a sentence. The progress was very slow. It could be very easy for somebody to feel like this is too much work and I just don't want to do it. But again, going back to his sense of humor and I think his comfort level with everybody at the hospital, he had the tenacity to do it, he had the strength to do it, he had the motivation to do it. But inevitably, there were moments of deep frustration. At a music therapy session, everybody was playing drums, which had been Jared's instrument since fifth grade. Unable to do even basic things, he left in tears. But therapist Laura Duda suggested one-on-one -on -one sessions and put together a makeshift drum set. We had these and I brought in um, a couple uh, pieces from home, a bass drum pedal, and we used this and it used to roll around and, and he would laugh and we just, we made it the best out of what we had and he was able to express himself through a familiar modality, which was music. Got my mind off all the things that I couldn't do. And little by little, he began to gain more use of his right arm and leg. After five weeks at Children's, Jared went home. He was out of the wheelchair and moving with a walker. And there were other milestones as well. At discharge, Jared was able to start saying some sounds, okay, a few consonants, put together with vowels. And he was able to initiate his voice. Um, that was the progress that he had made, and he had worked extremely hard to get to that point. And Jared continued to visit Children's Hospital to see rehab physician Dr. Douglas Henry. Pleasant uh, guy to work with and wanted to do everything he could to maximize his recovery from the stroke. Over the next several months, Jared began putting syllables together to form words and then sentences. He learned to write with his left hand and finally ditched his walker. It took a tremendous amount of work. Just like if you want to learn a language or learn to play the piano, the more you practice, 
Uh, you actually can alter the, the connections in your brain and uh, impact your, your recovery. Soon, Jared had made so much progress that he was able to return to school and to actually graduate with his class. Every one of his therapists was there. They all pooled together their money and, and gave him a good size gift of money and they spent time talking with Jared and it meant the world to Jared to have them there. Yeah, uh, that was awesome. To see him now walking and talking and graduating from high school, just to, to think back and see the progress that he had made was, there's, there's nothing like it. There's no price you can put on it. It's just, it's a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Today, Jared is attending Oakland Community College and working with a passion on his drum set at home. I remember when he couldn't do his ABCs and he had to relearn that. And now he's getting A's and B's. And there's really no limit to what I think he'll be able to do. He has passion for life and that spirit you can't break.